Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to play some Rakdos Knights. I was just looking at a bunch of decks online and I came across this one. It Basically, this exact deck, um, I think I made one or two minor changes. It 5-0'd in a recent standard league tournament, whatever you call those things. So it really appealed to me. I love the simple build. It's, yeah, basically a Rakdos Knights deck. We've got some hand disruption in Drill Bit. We've got our Ember Cleaves. We've got the Regisaur Ember Cleave combo, which I really like. Spawn of Mayhem, which is just... And, yeah. So, I honestly haven't even played with it yet. <laughs> but I just like it so much that I'm going to go for it here. So we're going to do a best of three and see how it goes. But yeah, I remember when Embercleave first came out and people were mostly playing it in decks like this or a three color knights deck. And yeah, the the Regisaur Embercleave combo is just so fun. You can get in for like 16 damage in one turn. I really hope we're able to do that today. That would be a lot of fun. All right. We're going first. This is not a keepable hand. This is better. Yeah. I kind of want all these lands. I feel like normally I would return a land here, but in this case, I'm going to get rid of a Black Lands Paragorn. Paragon, excuse me. Yeah, because I want the castle for sure. I only have two of them in the deck. And if I get rid of the swamp, you know, castle will come in tapped, etc. So I think this is what I need. All right. Yeah, my computer's being a little bit fussy right now. Pretty straightforward so far. I mean, this should be a good matchup for us. It's basically what the deck was built to was built to do here. I really love Spawn of Mayhem. Just one of my favorite cards. I think. Besides red, black is probably my second favorite color, so Rakdos decks are always pretty close to my heart. And yeah, Spawn of Mayhem, I play him a lot in this uh, mono black aggro deck that I play with. It's not a Luris deck, so maybe I'll play with it sometime soon to show you. But yeah, it's also a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll be able to draw a card here. I don't think I'm gonna play the Knight. I've got enough pressure on the board. I 
And yeah, I figured that was kind of their only way out, so this way I don't just lose everything. Alright, so they have four lands down. I think I need to take the Luka. So, they're just gonna have to play Yorion here. Yeah, this one should be... We should have this one here, I think. So I can just pump it to four, it'll survive. And then I'll also be able to play the Spawn of Mayhem here. So this is basically a chump block. I take that back. Um, we needed Spectacle there for the Spawn of Mayhem. But yeah, if they didn't draw a resource, they're just dead here. All right. Alright, I'm just gonna put down my creatures that just like do damage to everybody no matter what, so that even if they're able to steal something next turn, it doesn't even matter. So, yeah, they should just. I guess if they shatter again, that would do it. They did get the untapped land, but. Even with the agent, I mean, both these creatures just do damage to them, so I think this is fine. I really like this deck. Yeah. I mean, with both these creatures just bonking everyone on the head every turn. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, this is probably a great deck for moving up the ladder. All right, so I'm gonna take the rest and the Berserker. I think Bone Crusher Giant is less important here. I think I'm gonna replace the Paragons with the Berserkers. And let's see. I think I'll bring another Bone Crusher in. And I think that's all I really wanna do here. This sideboard definitely has a lot of like small creature deck hate blazing volley i mean that's a card i've never played with but i could definitely see putting it in some of the mono red sideboards i could see it being good against the Luris decks good against other obosh decks one of those decks soon i mean I've, I've been playing with it it's just i know i know it's good but i just hate that deck um, the mono red Obosh, it's just so predictable and there's so little you can do in terms of messing around with it. Your opponent just always knows exactly what you're going to do. That said, it's very powerful, but 
I like my two drops and my four drops, what can I say? Okay, so... I think I have to keep this. I think it's a good enough start to keep. Just hope to draw into some action. This is my favorite black land. I'm really happy with any deck that plays Knight of the Ebon Legion. It's just... Just such an excellent one drop. Ridiculous. Ridiculously powerful. I always think it's something about black too, just like the aesthetic of the color. People tend to underrate those cards. They tend to be they tend to be more powerful than people give them credit for. I'm probably just gonna slam a turn three Regisaur just to start discarding my lands here. I guess I should have played a land before combat there. I think you probably want to threaten activating that knight. Alright, well, things are going extremely well so far. Haven't seen an Ember Cleave yet. I would love to I would love to draw that here. It's exactly what we need to go over the top. Alright. I think I'm gonna double spell here. Cause I if I had the option to go register drill bit, then I would do that, but I think I'd rather double spell than just play Registar. Just because he's so weak to, to fairy. I think in this game, my only real hope of winning is to just get an Ember Cleave. Because, I don't know, it, it just feels like they're going to be able to stabilize. Then again, they just played a Yorian for no value. I mean, I guess they were able to get rid of fires, but... Wow, still haven't found Ember Cleave. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to drill bit before attacks. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to. They could... No, they can't play anything right now. All right. So they have a sixth land for Dream Trawler. I mean, they just have a really powerful hand. Two Elspeth Conquers Death, so I just can't. But that can only hit my Registar. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to lose to a Teferi here. Yeah. All right, I'm, I guess I'm taking a timeout. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to take their Dream Trawler. Oh, I mean, I guess they'll just get it back with Elspeth Conquer's death. Maybe I should have just taken one of those, but I mean, at least it's not coming down this turn.
All right. Well, now, now they've got their shenanigans going. We had that window where we needed to draw Ember Cleave and and we missed. I mean, just going back to that drill bit, I mean, they had such a good hand, I don't think there was really any obvious take. I mean, if they didn't have two Elspeth Conqueror's deaths, I would have just taken that, I think. But maybe I should have just taken the Luka. But it's the same kind of thing where anything that I took was going to come back with their Elspeth Conquers deaths. So, I mean, that's just, they just had a brutally good hand there. This is just such a powerful deck. Looks like they found another Dream Trawler. So, yeah. I don't think I don't think there's anything that gets me out of this at this point. They're just gonna be able to keep. So next turn they grab another dream trawl or attack me. I think I'm ready to concede here. They're gonna This only has protection from white, so they can just steal it. Yeah. This is fun. <clears throat> Alrighty. I'm not sure if... I don't know, I mean, the only thing I'm considering is maybe replacing a Bone Crusher Giant with a Paragon. But I think this, I think this is a pretty good configuration. I've got the Hand Disruption, I've got Pretty reasonable curve. I think, yeah, I think we just need to have the right sequence of draws here. Obviously being on the play is gonna be key, but yeah, I don't think there's anything I wanna change. Yeah. I think we just win this matchup like we won the first game. We just get out early and just we just come out early and swinging. Yeah, this is fine. I don't think I love having two drill bits, but... All right, looks like they're gonna be on six, which is encouraging. All right. Well, that's an Ember Cleave. I don't think I'm going to do the play where I just do two drill bits here. I think it's a little early for that. I think I just want to build out the board. Yeah, considering I'm not clearly going to hit a land drop next turn. I think I am going to play the Crusader. Yeah. If they had two lands down and they were definitely playing it to Fairy next turn, then I think I would have played the Berserker, but... I, yeah, I think I could use the extra card here. All right. Yeah, this is working out really well. 
Why don't we... Do we start with the attack? Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's see what they're working with. I'm not too worried about Omen of the Sun just because Ember Cleave is going to kind of ruin that plan for them. I think Shatter's just the obvious take here. Also, those tokens can't block the Berserker, which would be the only kind of bad situation. But yeah, I think we're in great shape here. We're going to play Ember Cleave next turn. Probably on the Berserker, but we will see. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to let them play Omen of the Sun. Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't expect that, but that's fine. Yeah, so this is just going to be a real disaster for them. All right, and now we just take anything that might keep them alive. So four lands next turn. Oh, hello, Deafening Clarion. So Deafening Clarion doesn't kill the Berserker. So I can let them keep that. I mean, none of these cards save them. I think they're super dead. I think Deafening Clarion is the best card though, so I'll take it. Yeah, so this deck function like it was supposed to. I'm really excited. This was a great best of three for me. We were really lucky to be on the play. We did lose on the draw, so I'm not sure how it would go if we started out on the draw. Um, it does seem like it would be hard to break serve here, but, but yeah. I think, I think in terms of winning on the draw, that's when you really need Ember Cleave to, to just pressure their life total. I remember in that second, a pretty healthy 17 when they had like five lands down and they really need like five lands down to just start doing their shenanigans with Luca and you know agents and so forth that's when their deck really kind of explodes in terms of its power level but thank you everyone for for hanging out today this was a lot of fun and yeah I'm gonna play a different deck every day it was cool to mix it up today with a Rakdos deck, but I'll probably go back to playing some more mono red next time. So stay tuned and uh, take care.